I think it does a really great job of contextualizing um, all of the Australian brush fires that happened several years ago um, and giving, you know, giving a face to the victims, um, the, the animal victims, I should say, through the lens of koalas, but also the people who were helping and um, had to sacrifice so much as well. I think it is a really heartwarming piece. I think it's incredibly informative. Um, I think the subject matter is one that's really interesting to a wide variety of people, and it comes together to be a really well-rounded, really concise piece. It really shows the balance of really not being so selfish and being more self selfless and really taking the care to not leave behind um, so many animals, you know, they really dive into this in the documentary about how people have lost their homes and lost everything that they could imagine to lose. And they end up saving a koala and taking it to this farm and having, you know, you don't really want to share that unfortunate experience that maybe this koala can't necessarily be saved. So it's a really gut-riching emotional experience as we can connect to it's something that's recent. It's something that's current. And when it comes to animals, people care a little bit stronger. Uh, that's a whole experience that we've always noticed within the human population is um, getting a little bit emotional when our fur babies are ill. And this is a crisis that happened to many animals and many ecosystems, but we really do identify the koalas in the spirit of Australia. So I think this is uh, a really nice way to uh, encapsulate this horrifying experience and getting viewership on it in order to um, really help rebuild and rehabilitate this whole movement. How they speak about of the, the loss of so many animals that were left to fend for, their, for themselves in so many ways to excruciating, painful demise. How they talked about the humanity on all its positivity, giving out money, sending blessings, giving out resources, a lot of volunteering efforts, hours, and different parts of the society, even tourists, were there to support the efforts. And also the very negative ones on how hurtful with the theories about the reasons behind all the support and the number of animals being euthanized. It, I liked how it touches on different perspectives from the same issue. And above everything, the main piece was saving the animals and making sure they are comfortable enough and don't suffer needless pain. I love the great, great drone shots and the lovely music. I also like how we find out about the, the title and how they make sure they don't go, they are trying to make sure they don't go extinct for the different reasons that they explore during the documentary and just avoid taking down trees to open up farmlands and instead planting more, more trees so they have sustainable food sources. Gets us uh, right into, um, gets us right into it. And, you know, it's, it's it's very recent history. So it immediately sort of reminded me about, oh my God, how, you know, how terrible all that was. And then um, kind of gets us more into the, the details, uh, you know, learning about uh, Kangaroo Island, which I'm not, terribly familiar with uh, Australian geography. So uh, for me, it was a good learning experience. Everything was um, offered really authentically and, and um, didn't feel like it wasn't over dramatized. That's for sure. Like this is already a dramatic uh, situation, didn't need any embellishment. So it was presented uh, in a really fascinating way because it was uh, presented uh, sort of like plainly, but also uh, very kind of cinematic at the same time uh, without overreaching into either category. It was a perfect balance of uh, just compelling story and uh, just actual facts. Uh, really a great job balancing that. Um, the footage was all solid, uh, you know, hearing from those people 
uh, even just the pacing and the timing on, you know, when we're hearing from people and, uh, you know, lingering a little on a, on a, the end of a shot, just to let it sink, like stuff like that, just uh, really spoke to the filmmaking sensibilities behind this one. The cinematography and the colors of when everybody was talking and what they were wearing and um, just everything seemed to be really thought out. I really liked the great footage of the fires and the map visuals throughout. Um, at the very beginning, the cover shot, I loved that, of the cover shot of the koala with the leaf in its mouth, I thought was very beautiful. Um, just really well done as far as technically and all the content I really liked. So I was very much enlightened and informed with this documentary about these this huge summer, the black summer that they experienced here in this area of the world, all the koalas that were burn victims. Um, super sad um, to see these koalas suffering. Um, but it was just very interesting that, I mean, I know they were sort of that these people who saved the koalas were actually going in and taking them from the, the trees. But at some point, it looked like they began to start trusting the humans to take care of them when they realized they were helping them. It was very sweet to see the moments between them and that the koala rescue center was built from the ground up, just going, you know, as they needed, um, you know, hands on just daily, whatever was needed. They built this up, all these wonderful human beings out there. And it was great to see all the volunteers coming through. Um, and somebody even said it restores your faith in humankind. I just loved seeing the koalas being released into the wild at the end. So I love the setup, the beginning, the middle, and the end. And just thank you for everybody who, who helped those koalas. It was wonderful to watch this. There's a lot of great, beautiful footage of Australia and Kangaroo Island. A lot of really cute koalas. And although it is a sad topic, it also um, makes you feel inspired by the end of it with what's possible when people get together. Um, in the midst of tragedy and, and try and save the natural resources and, and the koalas. Such a heartbreaking story of the bushfires in Australia and the resulting devastation. The film did an excellent job revealing the damage of the fires from the sweeping drone shots. We also get an intimate view of what it was like for those dedicated to rescuing and helping the koalas and other animal populations. It was lovely to meet the couple and their little son who sacrificed so much to help, in addition to hearing from other professionals in the field. The narrator had a lovely, compassionate voice, perfect for the film, and the soundtrack was dramatic and moving.